Good morning. Now I'm going to present about the Choose Your Own Adventure book that I created with my group mates, Kevin, Bintang, and Dita. The book that I made is entitled The Haunting of the Angkum. It's a kind of a thriller and horror type book, but it's quite child friendly since our target audience is 10 years old. And it's quite thick, it's 60 pages, and each page has its own choice, leading to other pages which results in different fates as you, the character. So the readers will act as the character in this book, and whether they encounter a page which provides them with a choice or not, they can choose to do whatever action that they please, which may result in different things, which, which may result in their further survival in the story or their death. So the story itself began from an idea which was invented from a storyboard. So the storyboard itself was initially made like a um, path, starting from the beginning and expanding like branches to other parts of the story with different choices being made, resulting in different things. The story itself from our storyboard has about eight different endings, with five of them resulting in the character or the reader ending up with an unknown fate or their death, and as well as three endings, which results in one being a good ending and two being a bad ending. From those branches that we initially made, we organized them into boxes like this, which represent the pages, starting from the first page up to the 60th page. There are 60 pages in this book because our assignment was to have every single person or member of our group write at least 15 pages. So since we have four members in our group, we resulted in 60 pages in total. So starting from the first page, the first page is, will always be where the readers will begin their story from, but the first page itself has an option to choose whether what they are going to do with the situation that is provided to them. And with those choices, the readers will be redirected to another page. For example, from this first page, choosing the first option will lead to the 14th page, and choosing the second option will lead to the 35th page. And after they move on to those pages, continuing through making their choices and also reading on with their story will make them end up in the ending or the storyline that they have decided upon themselves. The book itself doesn't only contain pages of text, but also contain pages which include pictures like this one in the last page. These pictures represent what is going on in the pages previous to them. For example, if the situation that's happening is a creature has jumped through the window of your house, the picture would represent like this, which is the creature going through the window of your house. So the story itself is a bit related to the Indonesian myth called the Genderuo. So the idea of the story is that you encounter an angklung, which is an Indonesian traditional instrument, and the angklung itself is cursed, in which when you play it, you're going to summon this creature, which is called the Genderuo, and it's going to hunt you unless you keep continuing to play the angklung. The angklung itself produces a very bad noise, which hurts your ears, so you are placed in a situation that's as if you're between a rock and a hard place. So either you play the angkong and hurt yourself, or you're going to have to succumb to the attack of the Genruo itself. So the story itself has one good ending in which you're able to destroy the Genruo in its home base, but how to get to the ending itself, you're going to have to find out yourself by reading the book. So the pages that I did, I did a total of 15 pages. The pages that I completed, was the 43rd, 50, 51, 25, 39, and 40, 4, 11, 19, 2nd, 5, 17, 44, and 45, 24, 50, and 33, and 36. In those pages that I did, three of them were images or pages with, which only comprised of images. The images themselves, I drew them myself, and that's the same for my other group members as well. They drew individually for every single one of their pages, which contains images. So that is all for my book. Visually, it looks like this. The cover itself looks like a path of forest tree with an angklung hanging from one of the trees with the title and as well as the bottom text saying, choose your own fate, since this is a choose your own adventure book, but your life or fate is on the line. And the back cover contains um, like a synopsis, which 
states that once in a while something strange always happens to you but this time something that is very strange is going on and you need to make the right choices to survive. So thank you for listening to my presentation of my Choose Your Own Adventure book and when you get the chance to read my book, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.